Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2023 Cherokee Alpha Wolf 30DBH-L. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, then we'll close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Alpha Wolf 30DBH-L here. We're gonna spin our way through the RV, show you what it's all about here. So first things up, we're gonna kind of check out the living room kitchen area here. So sitting in my sofa, looking straight at the nice electric fireplace down here. We have basically a fancy electric space heater is what it is. But again, they look really cool in the RVs. A little bit of storage up above. You have room for probably, I'd say about a 40 inch, maybe a little bit bigger TV to go there if you wanted to put a TV there. And you have some storage space up above. Now on this wall here where the TV area would go, you do have your cable satellite inlet or outlet, I guess you'd say. You'd hook your TV to that electric outlet. And then down below, you have this new feature that they started doing where you connect your phone to this and it will play music from your phone through the speakers inside and outside the RV. No more radio on the RV. They're basically having you use your phone to do that. Going up a little bit here, we have our 10.7 cubic foot GE refrigerator. It is freezer on top, fridge on bottom. Just down below, you have the electric box with your breakers and fuses. And that electric box is able to detect whether it's a lead acid battery or a lithium battery automatically. Some don't do that. So, you know, if depending on what battery you got, make sure you know, your stuff works properly with it for charging purposes. You have the Greystone oven, three burner cooktop, flip up glass lid to kind of act as a backsplash or it'll flip down and give you more counter space. There is also a little wood cutting board back there that'll come down and you can use that as well. Greystone hood range light fan up top, a little bit of residential microwave kind of set up there. Some overhead cabinet space. You have a large single bowl sink, high-rise spring sprayer faucet, little matching sink cover. There's an electric outlet back there along with USB charger ports as well. And there's also another electric outlet on the bottom of the cabinet. As you're shopping around and looking at different RVs, sometimes the electric outlets are on the bottoms of cabinets, so you don't see them at first. So just kind of check that type of stuff out as you're shopping around. Count the number of electric outlets and stuff that might be in there, especially if you are more of an extended stay person. That's kind of nice to know where you're going to be able to plug everything in and how much you could plug in. A little bit of storage down below, along with three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Now back to the fact that this is a 2023 instead of a 2022. You have some differences as far as your linoleum floor color, your wood color, the furniture color is just a shade different than the old version. The kitchen countertop is a little bit of a different color as well. So this is kind of a new look for them as far as colors on things on the inside. Now your sofa area here that we were sitting in a minute ago, looking straight across at your TV. That has some storage underneath, so you can cram a lot of goodies under there if you need to. You also can flip that down into a bed to give you a little extra sleeping space. They're still using the pull down zebra style shades. Nice big U-shaped dinette area here. Now this has two large drawers underneath there that'll pull out and it will also make into a bed as well. A 
AC up top here, you can kind of see, Coleman AC. It's ducted through the roof. Got a little blue accent lighting above the slide. And then you can see your interior speakers as well, have a little blue light up there. Hallway going back to the master bedroom and the bathroom. So we'll check out the bathroom here first. This is a pretty large bathroom actually. So on the right here, we have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice glassed in shower area here, ABS tub surround. You have a uh, fan up top, a nice large turbo exhaust fan there to really help get out that moisture and stuff from a good shower. And you also have the skylight up above there, giving you a little extra height and also some natural lighting in here. The door over here obviously goes outside, but then you also have the door here going to your master bedroom. We'll look at that here shortly. Stepping back here so you can see a little better, you do have some storage underneath your sink area and a nice wooden medicine cabinet as well. Motion light in here, so if you are coming into the bathroom and can't find a light switch, it will kick on for you right there. Going into the bedroom area here. You have a hanging closet on each side and an overhead cabinet area across the top here. Pull down nightshade over there on that window. There's electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. Looking at the foot of the bed area here, you have TV hookups up on the ceiling and you could mount your TV on the wall here. Bed wise, it is a queen bed, camper queen bed. There is a little bit of room at the foot of the bed to kind of scoot around. And that bed will actually raise up and there's some storage underneath of there as well. The window over here does open an emergency exit window in case of a fire or something, but you can also prop it open, has a screen in it and stuff to get you some fresh air. Spinning back around here. In the back section is going to be the little kids room area. So you have three bunks, two on the right, one on the left, and under the one on the left is like an outdoor kitchen area. You'll see that when we get back outside. But you do have a little ladder to get you up onto this top bunk over here. Quite a bit of storage space underneath of here little shelf space as well. And then there's TV hookups above there as well. So you can do a TV in the living room, the master bedroom and the bunk room. And then over here, you can see there's electric outlet and USB charger ports at each bunk. So each one of the kids can kind of plug in their electronics at night. Big pantry area over here. So you get little coat hook holders up there, light in here but quite a bit of room to store stuff in here if you want. All right, we're gonna head back outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV, then we're gonna come back in and close it up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're now back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Alpha Wolf 30 DBH here. And we're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up on the exterior, not a huge amount of changes. However, you do have the new mirrored looking windows. 
So that does change things up. It's an RV45 window. It's got a really nice reflectivity to it to help keep the RV cooler inside. The outside fiberglass stayed the same. So you got the gray fiberglass exterior with the lower black metal skirting. However, they did change up the graphics package on the side a little bit. This particular one was ordered with the power jacks. You can see underneath of there, there's also an enclosed underbelly. You have a large pass-through storage compartment here going across the front section. Pretty nicely finished off. And back in here is also your solar charge controller and a motion light on each side. Baggage door itself held up by a magnetic clip has the slam latch baggage door handles. Right here is the little pet friendly leash latch. You'll also see a little advertisement there that talks about the Phylon Max fiberglass, which is a little higher grade of fiberglass. So you don't see the fiber hairs as easily, a little more shine to it as well. You have the more ride entry step going in the front door and the back door. So a lot of brands only do one door when they're doing this more ride step. Here you have both. That step comes down, touches the ground, rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover steps only rated for 300 pounds. Due to it touching the ground and kind of supporting itself, it doesn't shake the RV as bad when you or the kids are running in and out of the RV. So it just makes it a little more stable and less likely to damage the RV overall. You have the black glass entry door on both doors. And you can kind of see a little bit of a window shape there as we're looking into it. You've seen that when we were inside, that window again is thin shade ready. You can get that aftermarket, but it does the black safety glass door. You have power awning, LED light strip built in has adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff purposes. And in the front arm head here, it does have a manual crank in like a case of an electronic failure. Just above the uh, wolf there, you have your stove exhaust out area right there. And then we have the TV mount here. So if you wanted to do an outside TV, you could two outdoor speakers, electric outlet, and cable outlet also. And then your furnace exhaust down below. You have dual axle system here, aluminum wheels, six lug. They also have the little uh, tire pressure cap on there that kind of alerts you by changing color if the tire pressure drops a little low. So you can kind of keep an eye on that just by that little cap right there. One of the new 2023 features is going to be the on-demand water heater. You can kind of see it pop up here in the picture. Again, rear entry step is the more ride right entry step. Large folding entry handle to get you in and out of the RV. Next to that handle is gonna be your model number. Also a little advertisement there talking about the Under Armour underbelly and the tank enclosures. Basically telling you that your holding tanks are enclosed. The gate valves are also enclosed up in there. So it is less likely to have cold weather issues. You have two outdoor mini fridges here. So one maybe for the adult beverages and the other for the kid beverages possibly. Um, but you got too many fridges. Those are strictly electric. There's a little portable ice maker in between there. You have hot and cold outside faucet here, which is a, got a little sink area that is actually plumbed. Graystone griddle here. So you could do some cooking outside. And then you have a little metal pull out drawer here as well. Now down below, you can kind of see here, we have again, that underbelly you can see across the bottom. You also have that gas line hookup for your griddle and another power stabilizer jack.
On around to the back here, we have the fold down rack on the back. Nice feature to add. Spare tire mounted to that as well. Up top, you can see it has a rear backup camera on it. So you can kind of see what's going on behind you. That camera, when it comes from Alpha Wolf, actually connects to your phone through an app. So you would download the app on your phone and basically be able to see what's going on with this camera from behind you. There's a little QR code thing you gotta scan so that not just anybody can do that, but um, that's a nice feature to have there, good safety feature. Next to that on the right side, you can see the little uh, black bar up there. That is prepped for the Lippert portable telescoping ladder. You can buy that aftermarket and it basically attaches there, comes down to the ground, allowing you to climb up onto your roof. Speaking of the roof, you can see up top here, things up there as far as you know, your AC, uh, plumbing stack vents, skylights, all that stuff up there. You gotta get up there from time to time and maintain those seals and stuff up there. Flipping around, looking from the other direction, you can see uh, the couple solar panels on there that now comes with 250 watt solar panels, so 100 watts total as now standard where that was technically an option last year. Um, you're also gonna see up there that there is you know, a max event on this one. The customer chose to add that. Normally you just see the roof vent up there, but the max event up there is nice to add. And that basically allows you to leave that vent open during the rainy season or whatever. So you can kind of let some air flow in and out of there, even when you're not using the camper. Nice thing to have. Coming on around to the back side here, you can see detachable power cord here. It's probably about 25 or 30 feet long. Light over here, so you can come over and do things at nighttime if you need to. You have an outside utility shower, hot and cold water right here. And then you also have your inlets here. So you got city water inlet, your portable gravity fill fresh water tank inlet here, cable satellite inlets, and your black tank flush, all right here in this one area. So it's kind of nice, pretty much all your hookup stuff at the campground is gonna be right back here instead of spread out across the side. Um, down below, you can see here is one of your dumps. So you have a little dump area here, and this basically works for your uh, outside sink. And you have some little storage area here. And again, you have that slam latch and magnetic holder. Now stepping back here, you can see the awning over top of the slide. This is an aftermarket item that was put on by this customer. They chose to add that on. It basically covers the top of the slide room, helps shade the room, helps repel water, leaves, twigs, debris, things that might you know come down out of trees and stuff, and get stuck in there when you're closing up your slide if you don't have something like that to cover it up. It's always good, even if you don't have this, again, remember to make sure you get up there and you know just kind of check that out before you close up your room. Make sure it's clean if you've got stuff up above that could fall down and you know get on top of there. You can really see that reflectivity of the windows there. Looking down below here, you can see kind of in the middle underneath of there, you have hot and cold low point water drains down there. And then we also have over here our second dump, which has our gray, black, and galley all coming out right here. So if you don't use your outdoor kitchen sink, you don't really need to worry about dumping the backside. So that's kind of nice, depending on, you know, maybe you're going camping and don't need to use that area. You don't have to worry about dumping it because it's not connected into your main stuff up here. Now here you can see the other side of the storage compartment area, another motion light and your battery disconnect switch for storage purposes. On the side corner here, you can also see some little stickers. We're gonna pop these up for you here real quick. The very first one popping up is gonna be your main data sticker. 
This tells you production date, has your VIN number on it, axle size, but most importantly on this sticker is the gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, basically telling you how much the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. And this also has the uh, length on it now as well. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross vehicle weight that was on the first sticker. And last but not least, we have the tire sticker here telling you tire size, but most importantly here, tire pressure. So make sure again, you check your tire pressure before every trip, very important. If the tires get too low, the tire cannot hold the weight of the RV properly and is more likely to blow out. So make sure you check your tire pressure. Those little green caps there kind of help you keep up with that also. The front of the RV here has a three quarter fiberglass front cap. So a nice heavy duty cap with a lower black metal diamond plate. You have two blue LED lights, a little switch there to turn those on and off. Power tongue jack, which also has a manual override and has a light built in as well. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug that will feed power back to your brakes and through your running lights and stuff like that. Um, so make sure you have a brake control in your tow vehicle to control the brakes of the RV. They do require that. If you don't have a brake control, you will not have brakes working on the RV. Two 20 pound propane tanks under the black cover here. Auto changeover regulator. There's room for one or two batteries to go back here. Now you can see the little Blue Ox brackets right here. This customer chose to do the Blue Ox Sway Pro hitching. Really nice hitch system. Um, when they get here, it'll all be kind of put together and adjusted to their truck. But you have a big headpiece bar and things like that to do the weight distribution and sway. Um, really, again, nice feature. You can kind of go to YouTube or something, Blue Ox, uh, Google Blue Ox and kind of get an idea. There's some nice videos on those. Those are again, aftermarket items, but nice to have to really help you tow it with. All right, we're going to head back inside. I want to show you around the inside of the RV real quick and get it closed up for you. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Alpha Wolf 30 DBH here. And we're going to close up the slide out for you and kind of show you what this thing looks like closed. So when you are ready to close it up, the first thing you really want to do is make sure your floor is clean. You don't want anything in the way, rocks, pebbles, you know, kids' toys, whatever, because your slide will run them over and damage the floor. Right back here is the control panel here. And again, that control panel has that little motion sensor, so it kind of lights up when we come by here. But on this uh, control panel, it's going to have your slide button, awning button, some light buttons, water pump button, you can connect your phone through Bluetooth. You have your battery condition, your holding tanks, how full or empty they are, and your fresh water tank as well. Just up above, again, digital thermostat for your furnace and your AC, your Furion on-demand water heater controls, another voltmeter here, and then you do also have the Wi-Fi uh, One Connect hotspot that you can do as kind of an aftermarket thing here. Uh, you can get some more information. It'll tell you here when you're into that. But let's get back to closing it up. So we are going to hit the button to bring the room in. And again, this comes pretty much straight in and straight out. Make sure your floor is clean again. When you're going out, if you need to stop or something to you know, make sure that you're not about to hit a water pole or electric pole or something at the campground, all you gotta do is just let off the button, the room will stop, go do your check, and then hit the button again to bring it right on in or out. If 
Again, don't forget to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country and will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. So just kind of stepping back here looking, I can come in the back door, get obviously to the kids room, the little closet pantry area there. I can come all the way up into the kitchen area, load my fridge, wash my hands. You know, I could even make something on a stove if I really wanted to. So you can do just about everything back here in the kitchen area and living room area and the bunk area. However, it cuts you off from the bathroom and your front bedroom. So when you want to get into that area, you could just come in the other door and go in from that direction. So if you're stopping at a rest area and you just wanna run into the bathroom, or if you wanna take a nap and the kids go back there and take a nap in their area, you could still come in here and get to your bedroom and grab something out of there. Even though the slide kind of stops us from coming in through the back, you know, we can still come in through this extra door here. And that's partly why they did this extra door here going from the bedroom to the bathroom. So pretty simple. Now, when you're ready to take it back out, all you got to do is hit the button to go out and everything starts moving again. Thanks again, folks, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. If you are interested in keeping up with more videos, please remember to like, share, subscribe if you know somebody that might be looking for an RV like this. And again, check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They will save you a lot of money on a new RV.